Hi, I'm Wes Fryer, and I am an educator and an author and a digital storyteller and a guy who's very passionate about using media and the ways that students can be using media to show what they know, what they can do, and can really open up better windows for us as teachers to see inside the mind of the student. I read a book by Austin Kleon recently and he talks about turning the invisible visible and I think media has a tremendous potential uh, for us to do that and not just within assessment which is very serious uh, or can sound very serious but for learning, um, which can be very creative, which can be very whimsical, which can feed our curiosity. So I've actually been in education now for 20 years and have worked as an elementary teacher, worked in universities, taught university courses, and, and worked a lot with teachers in professional development. And about four years ago, uh, when I wanted to write my first book, I, of course, had to come up with a title and a theme, and this idea of playing with media really resonated with me. Um, the work of a lot of folks, um, John Seely Brown, uh, Mitch Resnick, the lifelong um, uh, kindergarten group at MIT, a lot of groups that, or a lot of thinkers that recognize how important it is to have really a virtual sandbox to play and to become comfortable using tools. And so that's where this playing with media project started. But as I worked with, continued to work with teachers, I recognized that it's not enough to say, let's play with media. You know, you need to be able to create and share text and images and audio and video. <clears throat> teachers we want specific examples. You know, I teach seventh grade social studies, or I teach, you know, eleventh grade uh, pre-calculus, or um, I teach fourth grade STEM, as, as as I've done the last couple years. You know, what can my kids do? What can they create? And so. Um, my advocacy really now focuses on the idea of showing what you know with media. Um, this idea of a menu, I think metaphors are very helpful. We need to broaden our menu of tools that we have in our toolkit as teachers and broaden the menu that we invite students to sort of draw from in class and, and as part of, of formal learning. How can you show me? what you know. How can you show me what you can do? So Show With Media is an initiative to try and not say you know you have to have this particular platform or this particular app because those things are changing a lot. But what can you create with your digital tools that you have and open up a window into your mind and into your skills and that allows us to create digital portfolios. There's a lot of things we're not sure of today in terms of what the future holds, but I think we can say with a lot of confidence we are going to have more and more powerful digital devices you know, in our pockets and in our purses, and these tools need to be leveraged for um, learning. The traditional toolbox of, of uh, you know, pencils and paper and bubble sheets and, and activities that we might do synchronously with students really needs to be expanded. Um, all of our classrooms need to be blended environments. And we need to look at the ways that we can use media to tell our stories, um, to share what we're passionate about, and really to amplify ideas and amplify learning. And it's so exciting to be able to make connections with others and to have that audience. And so I think playing with media, showing what you know with media, these are things that we need to be doing at all levels of education because we're inspired by those examples. And as you share what you're doing, what your students are doing, um, as I share those, uh, it's, it's this great cycle and process of inspiration and uh, innovation that happens when we have chances to be sparked by the, uh, the media products and the ideas of others. Mm -hmm.